Howdy everyone, it's me once again, the one and only Turbo Dan. And today, I'm going to be talking about something I haven't really spoken about in quite some time already. And that's the Kung Fu martial arts genre of film. Of course, I'm going to be talking about this genre primarily the old school stuff, yeah, the low budget obscured martial art movies. And that's what I usually will review anyway. I really like this genre, folks, of film. I even like the type of video games uh, that we just you know, fight everybody, a bunch of people. Yeah, when it comes to video games, even this is, seems to be my up, up more my alley, folks. Yeah, this is definitely the type of fun stuff I would like to um, you know play as well when it comes to video games. And... Uh, I enjoy this genre so much that if I were the one that directed both Frozen films, most likely I would have just turned it into like a horror movie. Well, I really like horror movies, I do. But, yes, if, if Kung Fu was your first guess, yeah, I, would probably, I probably would have done that if I had on those movies so yeah so because of that I felt like I, it's a bit disappointing at least to myself anyway that I didn't bring up uh, any Kung Fu movies as of late so yeah and just so you know folks I'm gonna be talking about the English dub version of this film just just throwing that out there just so you know but anyway yes it's the English dubbed version Okay, that aside, anyway, like I was about to say, it's the film titled this, Eight Strikes of the Wildcat. And yes, yes, of course, the main character is a woman. And I can't imagine if this film was made today, I think it would not got a good reaction, really. We probably would have got a bad reaction if it was made today. So... Yeah, it's just how a lot of people complain and nitpick everything. So, well, whatever, okay, whatever. But like I said, I'm going to be talking about this. Like I was saying, I'm going to use this as an excuse to talk about a Kung Fu feature because honestly, I feel like I don't talk about Kung Fu films enough, really, if, if I'm going to be honest here. Well, anyway, of course, as usual, I have to talk about the plot. So, let's get into it shall we and yeah as I mentioned a moment ago there's gonna be a woman as the main character of course you're gonna see her get trained in a certain type of fighting style of course yep obviously so yeah there's also this these three people these three guys who are known as three rats and they are looking for this two-part treasure map and yes, oh boy, things still get pretty chaotic because these three men will actually want to kill anybody and everyone who gets in the way of their mission. So yes, there's this woman here who will seek to avenge the murder of a father. So the thing is that it's not as easy as it seems, of course, in order to defeat this uh, three men, the rats, he must learn the eight strikes of the wire cat from an old master, while of course attempting to avoid, um, I guess you would say, he's getting killed off, obviously, so this film does get pretty chaotic as it goes. It's a martial arts film, so obviously, the thing is that, um, it's gonna be pretty action-packed, so let's just say that things will get pretty insane, pretty cool in its own little way. Yeah, there's this group of evil martial arts who are as experts of this type of animal fighting style, of course. So yeah, it happens. They will stop at nothing to do what they want, and they're looking for this treasure map they want to steal it obviously you do want to steal it of course 
But they will get it. They will stop with nothing to do what they want. So, yeah. They will get what they want no matter what because that's how they are. So, he pretty much going to set up a stage where a main character must go through quite a bit to make sure, you know, everything gets safe, of course. But yeah, this is a pretty old school kung fu film, folks. And you just might expect the film is all about martial arts. So you get to see that the main character, this woman is going to, of course, has, she has to learn how to fight, how to battle, obviously. And yeah, I do I do see that a noticed thing when it comes to these martial art movies where there's like these training montage kind of a thing, so there's that. Pretty sure that a lot of feminazis nowadays will also get offended by this film because while well, yes, this film is about a woman beating up some guys, but the movie is not trying to say anything about, you know, anti male or, or anything like that nature. Thankfully it's not like that. So, yeah, I know feminism had changed its meaning over the years, and appreciating other cultures and whatnot, that definitely changed over the years. So, yeah, that kind of point of view may affect people, how they would look at films from different cultures or whatever. But yeah, for what it's worth, this one... It is definitely something I would highly recommend it if you're somebody that's into the like the old school kung fu type of movies. If that's your thing, then I highly recommend this one. And I mentioned earlier, this is definitely something that is the English dub, really, folks. It's not the original version, but like I said multiple times before, finding the unedited versions of these films are a pain in the ass. Really, it really. Yeah, just so you know. And I did like what was done here. I guess for what it's worth, I liked it. I really did. So, this may seem like an odd little movie. The thing is that when the, yeah, when the character, yeah, she does, when she gets into her fine moves, yeah, it, it, got, it does deliver what it was trying to do with the type of the movie. It does make... Yeah, when she does these specific moves of the cat move, yeah, it does like a cat noise, kind of like cat meow. Yeah, I really heard me, folks. I'm pretty sure all of you are aware of how a kitty cat was meowing. Yup. But imagine that when someone, okay, it's her specifically, does uh, some kung fu moves and a cat meow will come out. Yeah, that's actually in the movie, folks. As strange as that would seem. Yup, as strange as that would seem. So, in other words, this movie is definitely an odd little movie. But, hey, it's, it's alright. I didn't mind it really. It's part of its charm, I guess you'd say. I mean, of course, they're trying to have various styles in, in this movie. And it's a pretty good martial arts film. Of course, I did like how the 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 kafu fighting was really well choreographed. I mean, everything is chore is well choreographed. The entire movie was definitely well framed. And even though, even if it's just scenes of them walking or just talking, of course, even if just doing something simple like that. It's definitely well f framed, folks. It's really well choreographed. The fight scenes are really nicely put together. The fight scenes are really nicely put together. And so, yeah, all of that does come off nicely put together, folks. It does have its moments, of course, I would say. It definitely has moments. For its, and, and the acting, I guess the, the acting wasn't too bad. Of course, even though I'm trying to get past the, you know, the, the dubbing. I'm trying to get past that because the dubbing does need some work. But, you know, just keep in mind, this was made quite some time ago. So, if that doesn't bother you too much, it's fine. But, for it's worth, the acting wasn't too bad, really. And, 
I like what was displayed and doing the martial arts scenes, of course. And yeah, like I said, the acting was actually quite nice. The acting was pretty solid. Just because it's a martial arts film doesn't mean the acting is bad. And yes, it's pretty low budget, but that that doesn't necessarily mean the acting is gonna be bad. I know a lot of people will assume just because it's kung fu, just because it is cheaply made movie from the past, all the acting is going to be bad. You know, that's just an assumption there. Just because of that does not mean it's going to be bad, no. The acting is actually quite nice. Yes, even though it's dubbed, I can tell by the body language from the actors and actresses did pretty well for what it's, for what it's worth, so I can't really complain about that too much really. So there's that. So that's definitely that. I liked what was done here, folks, because there's definitely some honest effort being done here. So, yeah, that's definitely a good little thing. I, I would add this to my collection, of course. If you're somebody that's getting into the genre and you really want to find like the more obscured features, definitely pick this up, folks. I'd definitely say give this a chance. But the copy, I, I watched it from, I, I can say it didn't look all that great. It looked like it was from the VHS tape era of movies, but to some degree, I kind of liked it because of that. It gives that some look, the some quality of picture, like the whole VHS tape stuff, did look pretty nice in its own little way. So I guess it didn't bother me too much, really. But there's that. Yeah, I would love to get my hands on the unrated version of this film, but I don't know. I guess one of these days I could. But, just keep in mind folks, this movie is quite old, but it's still pretty entertaining. So, the final battle was pretty cool in its own little way. I'm not, gonna, I'm not gonna give away, of course, too much really, but, yeah, the final battle is pretty lengthy, but also very impressive in its own little way, and it does attempt to tie up things pretty nicely. And, yeah. This film definitely has its own charm, of course, and I won't mind watching this again, of course, I will not mind watching this again one of these days. It's definitely a nice add to your collection if you want to start collecting movies, of course. There's a lot of stuff I'd like about it. The scenery was too bad, of course. Daylight was done. This has... A lot of, uh, like a revenge kind of a plot going on. And yes, there's going to be quite a few training montages here and there, of course. But yeah, this feisty daughter of a murdered Kung Fu martial artist. And she has to learn this specific style of fighting. And yes, it's the Wildcat Kung Fu style. She must learn this as a way to defeat the three bad guys who had done something bad of course so yeah overall I can say that this is definitely something I would recommend for anyone even if somebody that's already into the genre and has not watched this film as of yet I'm definitely gonna say I recommend this one anyway I do like the set designs yeah, I do like the set designs that was made for this film. Express your concern the fact, like I said, uh, it's it's re it's really low budget, folks. Keep, just keep that in mind. It's really, really, really low budget. Don't expect this to have like any fancy special effects or anything like fancy camera angles or whatever, because that's not what you're getting here, really. But still, that alone isn't necessarily mean it's bad. No, no. But, the thing is that, folks, this film does attempt to have its own style, of course, of storytelling. It has its own way to convey its characters and whatnot. And the overall premise isn't actually not that bad, really. It's pretty cool. So, yeah, it's, it has its own thing going on. I didn't mind watching it, of course. We didn't mind, so just keep that in mind, folks. Yes, sir. It's something I could, uh, you know, watch occasionally because the overall story is 
pretty easy to get into. So, I mean, that, that doesn't necessarily have to be a bad thing, though. Not every single story out there needs to be needlessly complicated. No. So, I know something that may not, you know, may not appeal to a lot of people nowadays because it's a much older film, really. But, that's the thing, folks. I know, I know I've said this before. I've always preferred to watch the old school kung fu movies because they're more modern age, up to date kung fu features. Doesn't really have the same kind of charm, really. So, yeah, I, I tend to watch and review old movies anyway. So, that's definitely the thing. And yeah, so as a result, I tend to stick to the more obscured stuff because not a whole lot of people would talk about these old movies. So, this is my way of watching and reviewing these type of movies to give them more the light of day, so to speak. Because not a whole lot of people on YouTube would do that, that exactly, really. But I'm going to do it because it's something I'm, I definitely find interesting in its own little way. Trying to find little gems like this, which I feel like doesn't really get covered all that much, really, if I'm be honest here, and not really. But it's my way of doing it because I honestly like these types of movies, of course. Um, yeah, and that's the thing. This definitely has, it's, yeah, it was definitely made in the, uh, in the late 19, yeah, some of the late 70s. And that's fine. A lot of these movies were very popular way back in the day, anyway. But that's the thing. I know nowadays everybody seems to have their own interest. The taste for these type of movies aren't exactly as high as they were way back when, and they back in the heyday, and and um, popularity. I know these types of movies were really popular back then. Not quite as much. I mean, I can see why because you know it was changed to taste and whatnot, but oh well. Nonetheless, this is my way of just digging into the past and reviewing these movies. So anyway, I'll give these, I'll give this film, at least this version of this film anyway, an overall rating of a 7.3 out of 10. It gets a 7.3 out of 10. So, of course, as always, thanks for watching, and take care. Until next time, see ya. Oh yeah, later.